hello everyone in this tutorial i will show you how to prepare a petty cash balance sheet format in excel okay so let's get started at first let's prepare the title so type in petty cash balance sheet okay now let's increase the font size a little bit along with the row height Okay, and merge a few of the top cells. Okay, now let's widen some of the columns. Now in cell A3, type in select month. Okay, and in cell B3, we will insert a drop down list for months to select from. Okay, but before doing that, let's prepare the data set first. So let's type in the current month that is August 2024 and copy the date to make a series until July 2025. Okay, now convert these dates to text using the text function in the formatting of months and years okay now combine this text into a single cell using the text join function with comma as the delimiter okay now copy this and paste as values then copy it from here and we don't need this anymore okay now select cell b3 go to data tab data validation list and paste the copied dates okay now we get the drop down list let's change the formatting in here too okay now in this cell type in starting balance okay and in here current balance okay okay let's keep a bit distance okay so in this cell type in the cashier's name okay so cashier and the name will go in here okay now in this cell type in date for the dates to record now this will go for the occasional deposits and this one for details or description okay this one for stationary cartage postage printing loading and so on okay and this one will go for the total of the expenditures okay now in cell a6 type equal to this date okay and let's change the formatting to let's say a short date and in the next cell type in the formula like this okay so if the previous cell is empty then return an empty string otherwise if the end of the month that is the current month press f4 to fix this 
is greater than or equal to the previous date plus one then return the previous date plus one okay otherwise return an empty string okay let's copy the formatting along along the way okay so now copy the formula down below okay and this cell will show the total of the row sorry the total of the columns so total and in here will be the deposits now select all the cells for the currents okay so hold the control key to do so okay now press 0 and press control enter okay and then apply the accounting formatting okay let's put a single hyphen in here sorry okay now these cells should contain a formula to sum up these expenditures so the formula should be sum of these okay okay but this one should be the sum of this although the result will be the same okay now in this cell the formula should be equal to sum of all of the deposits and in this one goes the same all of the expenditures okay now we can copy the formula to the right okay now let's okay so for the cashier let's keep the channel name for now okay now let's add some formatting in these cells let's add a custom color okay get it less dark okay and change the font color to white as opposed to the dark green background okay and make these cells the light green okay Now apply some borders and then from the view tab disable the grid lines okay you can also freeze the top rows and columns 
so freeze pins now adjust the column width accordingly okay now the formula for the current balance should be equal to the sum of the starting balance the total deposits and the negative of total expenditures okay so negative total expenditures now let's verify the formulas or check them if they are working properly so the starting balance is let's say hundred and thousand and fifty okay the deposit is let's say two hundred seventy printing cost forty five so looks like all of the formulas are working perfectly okay let's undo these changes okay now you can also insert an image or logo of your company so let's see So resize the logo and put it at the top. Okay. So that's it for the formatting. You can now disable the formula bar. okay so the balance sheet format will look something like this okay you can rename the worksheet so let's say this is august 24 okay make a copy from it for the next month that is september 24 okay okay so this is it i hope you find this video useful please like comment and subscribe Thank you for watching and I will see you in the next video.